Good morning guys, we're here at Onan Road, yes we are in Katong and I'm waiting for my rides. So stay tuned, actually my ride's here. Let's go for a spin guys. Morning Tom! Morning, <laughs> Look at that, wow! So for viewers who don't understand it when they see it, they see two different colored strips. Uh, where the license plate is, the red and the yellow. Can you explain what that is? Car, it's a classic car. It's a classic, classic car, car, yeah. License. That means you can only use it for 21 weekends? Something like that. Well, not weekends, days. Days, days yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So you have, um, you have these. Um, yeah, okay, so you've got all these, which are a bit like your parking, the old parking coupons. Right. So you get issued with a number of these. And you pluck out your month. So March 18, uh, and then if you wanted to, you could actually go and buy more. Okay. Yeah, so Super. Yeah. That's cool. Let's go for a spin. Let's go for a ride. Come on in. Grab yeah. a seat. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's do it. First thing you notice when you get out is that there's no no seatbelt. I still go to reach for it, and it's not there. <laughs> So you're not allowed to crash this thing right. at high speed. Go again. Here we go. Uh, towards the end of uh, Tumbling Road. So wow, okay, check this out. Okay. Cool. Now I wonder what the rush. So what does it run on? Is, is this car electric or uh, <laughs> plutonium or probably deadly leaded fuel? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So can you still drive this on the expressways here in Singapore? Can I cut you? You don't want to be scratching that. <laughs> can you explain what these things are? Okay, what have we got? Okay, key. Switch it on. So that's what that's for, yeah. So, but we switch off with this. Okay, lights, wipers, and um, don't know. Don't know. Sure, maybe this one makes it fly. Makes it fly? Yeah, yeah who knows? Maybe it's high beam, low beam. Can't think what it might be. There's not too much going on electronically inside the car. There's just smoke in the yeah. car. Yeah, it's wow. like, yeah. It's like still smoking yeah. cars. Uh... If you guys are wondering how I know this fellow over here, yes, he's none other than <laughs> the author of Always a Commando, and I've been a um, longtime friend with him. And That's right. We've yeah. known each other for many years, and um, yeah, Alvin does some wonderful pictures in the book. So uh, it's like. <laughs> T tell us a little bit more in it, just what, what the book is all about. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well the book Always a Commander is about, about the life and times of my father-in-law, who um, was a, I guess you say the founding father of the commandos in Singapore. Um, so the book is about his, his life, and I say his life because we don't just cover his commando days. Um, so we cover time from his birth. Okay, in 1941, just for the Japanese occupation, we go through his childhood, what it was like as a kid growing up in the Kampongs and of Singapore, and specifically not far from here in Kambangan. And so he knew Kambangan and he knew Ju Chat and Kartong very well. So we start off talking about that, and then we go into him joining the army with the British, what was in the British army, as a volunteer. Um, he went off to Borneo to be, and was involved in the confrontation with Indonesia. And then ultimately, Singapore became independent, was one of the founding officers in the Singapore Army. Yeah. Uh, so it's really just capturing his experiences and weaving in a bit of the history of Singapore to tie it all together. So. It's a very rich weaving of this entire life of Colonel Clarence Town. Colonel Clarence Town. Lieutenant Clarence Town. Lieutenant. For um, all those who are interested in this, is the book out for people to buy? It is indeed, yeah, you know, it's at um, most of the bookshops in Singapore, you should be able to find it. Um, Amazon? Amazon, of course, yeah. Um, 
Brooks Depository, all the online stores have access to it. If you have any problems, I've got a website, alwayscommando.com. And I'll leave it in the link below, where the description box is, like always. Yeah. Perfect, and you can drop me an email there and find out a little bit more about the book. Um, oh. Where, where's the gun in here? Yes. Thanks for the right, Tom. See you. Easy. So Elvin Mark, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode with me and this uh, gem of a vehicle here in Singapore, classic car. And until the next video, until the next art episode, yeah, you guys know me by now. He's gonna park this over here so that I get a clear picture of um, the scene here. I'm gonna be painting it from the front, so maybe here. There we go. I should be sheltered from the sun for quite a while, so I'm gonna be enjoying this. So stick around, guys. So since I never got a chance, or never got an opportunity to paint here in Singapore during the 50s and 60s, it is my dream to do a painting. We've set up this scene here, and thank you so much. So grateful for your help, Tom and Colin, for setting this up so that I can paint this scene. We're just off Kun Seng Road and Tembling Road. Let's make the painting. It's just like Back to the Future, step back in time. Okay guys, so here are some quick stats. Colin was a bit too shy for the camera, so I'm rattling off the information that he has provided for me. This is called a Morris Traveller and it was built in the 1960s. It was manufactured all the way in South Africa. Colin is the third owner of this vehicle and it has gone through one major revamp. This car is 60 years old. Colin did mention that just about 10, 15 years ago on this same street here on Tembling Road, someone actually owned this very same Morris Traveller on the street down where Duku Road is. So hey guys, what do you know? Um, I'm painting something from the past. Yeah, something that I couldn't have done uh, 10, 15 years ago. So what do you think? Ha ha ha. Thought it was a decent job. Um, had to lower this a little bit because when I was drawing it, uh, it was too high. For at least two hours, I felt that I was being transported back to the late 50s, early 60s in Singapore while painting this. Colin has arrived and he's gonna uh, check on the painting to give it its thumbs up or thumbs down. What do you think he's gonna say? So if you're new here, remember to subscribe because I don't post my videos consistently. Um, but I would still wanna share my work with you. So remember to hit that notification bell, really important thing. There we go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for your support through watching my videos and your comments and your encouragement, uh, bringing you more interesting stuff really soon via art, using art as the medium. Time to go guys, ciao!